of the penguins. So we're going to help the penguins form a bridge for the monkey. Oh wow, we did that long ago with crocodiles. Here, the penguins with glasses are closer than those with the bow tie. Ah, so you can see we're gonna be using glasses and bow ties to figure out stuff. So let's see what we have. For P and penguins, say P has glasses. If P has glasses, step 15. Say P has bow tie. If P has bow tie, step 20. The penguins created a bridge. Now the monkey can get the banana. Ah, cause see the bow ties are gonna need to go 20. The glasses only need to go 15. So let's run. When they give us things like this, it's an opportunity for us to understand how this code will be written and come back and look at it um, if we need to in the future. So if you move on from this one and you need help remembering how you wrote this, you can always come back and look at what you did. Now, they're telling us now the monkey can get to the banana, but we don't have that in here. And when I write, go to banana, I don't want it to be in my for loop because my for loop is all about the penguins moving. So you want to make sure that your go to banana is outside of all of those loops. As in, after all that happens, now the monkey can go to the banana. Now, if we get to the end of this and only earn two stars, it'll be because we have these lines that say P has bow tie, P has glasses, and taking those out will get us three stars. Um, so you can see when they do that, they put the say in there to sort of help illustrate for us how the program is working, but you can always take them out because they're unnecessary.